Today we're going to talk about pairing the transmitter with the Galileo Soul. Once you've turned on your Galileo Soul and you're in your time of day screen, let's go ahead and go into the menu. We want to go in and turn on our predictive multi-gas. Most often when a diver receives a new Galileo Soul, many of these features are turned off so that they can be set for your personal setup. Some folks don't use a transmitter. Therefore, it comes with it turned off. That way it's not looking for the transmitter for a diver who may not be diving with the transmitter. So let's go into menu. Next, we're going to go to dive settings. So we go down to dive settings and hit enter. Now let's go down until we find the PMG or predictive multi-gas. There's a PDIS. It's the next feature, PMG. In this case, it's turned on. Okay, if it's turned on, this is what we're looking for. So we must have this turned on in order to pair it. Now let's continue to hit enter until we go back to the time of day screen. Now, as you notice, it says PSI, no pressure or no P. So let's turn on our tank pressure. And as we do, if we'll slightly press the purge, Now you'll notice it gives you the option to pair tank 1. In this case it says tank 2 is paired or tank D. We also have the buddy pairing. Let's go ahead and save it to tank 1. It says the pairing was successful. Now if we hit the purge a few times we should get our tank pressure on our time of day screen. In this case it's 2419 psi. Again notice we have a flashing green light on our transmitter and we have exactly what our tank pressure is here. Remember that on the surface the Galileo needs to be in very close proximity I would say even touching the transmitter in order to get good accurate pressure. Underwater it doesn't need to be that close however it is imperative that if you use your transmitter on your left side that you wear the Galileo on the left side of your body on your left wrist or on a D-ring on the left side Vice versa, if you have it on the right, it needs to be on the right. Remember, if you're wearing a new Mantis II, you can use the one transmitter and pair it to both the Galileo Soul, or if you have a Galileo Luna, as well as a Mantis II. It's also backwards compatible, meaning that the Mantis II will program with our older model transmitters. One of the beautiful things of this is you could have your Galileo Soul and you could have your Mantis II one transmitter have redundancy for depth, time, decompression, as well as tank pressure. Also, if for some reason you jumped in the water and had failed to put on your Galileo sole that day, your Mantis II would give you all that information. You could just go ahead and dive. But, but you still need to have them both on the same side in order for them to get the transmission to go from the transmitter to both units simultaneously. Enjoy your Galileo sole.